Let me stop being ugly. If you have found me, welcome to my channel. As you guys can see from the name, it's A Savvy Network. Probably because I'm tech savvy, that's probably where I got the A Savvy for my first name initial. I originally had videos up, I had about four of them, but then when I actually started to do my research on how to go about making my YouTube channel, I ended up scrapping everything. So now we're going to start from the ground on up hoping you guys could if you can give me some more tips and stuff on how to build my channel build my followers and you know stuff like that you know help <laughs> help the sister out first video obviously it's going to be a getting to know me and what my channel will be based on or what i expect to give to you guys as far as content in my channel so let's start with the basics obviously my name is Alexandra, my last name is Roll, R-O-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Yes, it sounds exactly like the dinner roll, just with the letter E. No, it's not Roll-A, and it's not Roll-E. It's Roll. I'm not sure how people get that construed in their head, but they do. I am 24 years old. My birthday is November 26, 1996. I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> I am a mother of two girls, which you guys will See, sometime either if in the next video or in the far near future, one of the two girls, because one of them happens to be in a couple months stage, so you know, she needs attention all the time, okay? Their names are Amira and Raven. I love that. My youngest is so cute. My oldest is, she's adorable too, but <sighs> listen, homegirl. What's up? I know I sound like a fool for saying something like that, but listen, if you don't have kids, but if you like babysit like your nieces or your nephews or like your god kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? I love her to death, baby. <laughs> Make me want to pull my hair out. And I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> pull this wig straight off. My favorite color is lavender. If you guys were to give me anything lavender, whether it be shoes, a shirt, a bag, hair accessories, whatever. If it's lavender, I'll love it. And then you got my, my other colors, which is white, baby blue, and black. As you can see. Half of my wardrobe you guys will see throughout my YouTube, I'm wearing dark color stuff. I, I don't know, my wardrobe is consistently dark. And what's sad is, I live here in Florida. So, you know, black draws heat, <laughs> go figure. I have a very, I wouldn't say sick, but I have a very bad obsession with pandas. <laughs> I don't know what it is about them. Maybe it's because it um it describes me because I'm part black and I'm also part white. My mom's side of the family is white and my dad's side of the family is black. I'm a fun loving person. So maybe that's why I picked the panda because it describes me in a way. I don't know. Mm. That's l legit like panda shoes. I have like five big old teddy bears that are pandas. My nickname is Panda, but only to like people who are like really, really, really close to me. But then even then I still get people who call me by Alex. Oh, also sometimes throughout the videos or like if I'm doing a vlog or whatever, you guys will hear Alicia. And Alicia is my middle name. That's what my family goes by. Listen, I'm not quite sure how or why, but my dad and my mom always tells me this story that my middle name is actually supposed to be my first name and my first name is supposed to be my middle name. And for some odd reason, the nurse, she switched them. And I asked my parents why they never went to go and get it switched because they, the birth certificate was free. <laughs> Who's gonna go pay to get my name changed? I'm like, okay, I understand you, I feel you. So I go by two different names family and then it's when it's with friends so if you guys hear alicia sometimes it's still me still talking about me okay okay i am a military lady i've been in for almost three years now september 12th of 2018 is when i enlisted and i've been in ever since it's a very interesting experience I, you know, definitely would say for somebody who's trying to get their life together, you should definitely go. Whether it be Army, 
Navy, Air Force, Marines, whatever. It's it's a wonderful experience, especially if you're single. <laughs> you know how much money you can make? And then you travel everywhere, they send you where it seems fit. And definitely when you're sent overseas, you <laughs> money baby, money, you feel me? <laughs> I I kind of enjoy it now. As of right now, I'm in reserves because of me having a daughter and I wasn't ready to leave her yet and now I have another one so it's like dang but I'm still gonna try to go active duty because I really 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 am trying to get out of Florida which brings me to another thing I am a resident in West Palm Beach Florida now having to explain this to people because whenever you say West Palm Beach nobody and I mean absolutely nobody knows where West Palm Beach is it's either they know Jacksonville, Tallahassee, Tampa, Orlando, and Miami. That's it. So they know. They don't know where Boynton is. They don't know where Boca is. They don't know where West Palm Beach is because they're not known. And it'd be frustrating me when I have to, people be like scratching their head. Where's West Palm Beach? I've never heard of that before. Maybe if you look it up, you'll find it. It makes no sense how nobody knows what West Palm Beach is. And it's like so friggin' expensive that. Y'all, an efficiency down here is like twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars for an efficiency. The only closed space that you have is the bathroom, and the bathroom is as small as an office cubicle. Oh no! Oh no! Listen, I could go on a whole rant rave about everything that's wrong down here where I stay at for the places that they be trying to have us live in. Listen, there should be no reason. Why three bed, two bathroom, townhouse or apartment or a home that's going for like sixteen hundred a month and the square foot's only five hundred? What the hell am I paying for? For me to breathe? That makes absolutely no sense. In Florida, I hope you guys know you're ridiculous for that. And then not to mention the minimum wage down here is crap. Literally supposed to be living paycheck to paycheck down here. Unless you go to school and get a degree and then half the times you don't even get a job for what you went to school for. You got student debt and all of this crap and they ain't even in the freaking field that you went to school for. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Ugh. Anyways, let me stop rant reading. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm very cool. I'm very chill. I'm very bubbly behind person. You know, I get laughs and every now and then I make myself laugh. Hey, you guys don't think it's funny. I think it's funny. To a certain extent, what's up? Don't, to a extent, don't kill me. But to a certain extent, what's up? I'm very, like I said, very chill people. Like if you were to see me on the street, hey, how you doing? Talk, have a conversation, but that's about it. I'm not gonna be a rude person unless I feel like it's necessary. I mean, that's about it. I also have like these, I wanna say two strange, I wanna, not really strange, but kind of like a, oh wow, like, head scratcher type thing so the one thing i have and i'm gonna put a picture of it right here i have a birthmark that's like really 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 big you know how some people have like a birthmark like right here on their arm or like some people have a birthmark on their face some people have a birthmark like through their hair their hair or whatever because i do have a friend he has a birthmark just like that or they're like you have like a you know a little small spot on the leg Mine just so happened to look like my left side was dipped in chocolate. <laughs> that, that's that's exactly what it looks like. Just all of my lower half from my butt cheek down to my leg. It looks like it was just dipped in chocolate. I look like a half finished Snickers. That's that's what I do. That's what I look like. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because it's like, why? Like what happened? My mom told me the story about hiding that one. So that would be something for a different day for you guys to listen to. And then the next thing I have, I get picked on this a lot by everybody. When I text, when I write, when I try to make the heart shape, I can't make the heart shape with my thumb because my thumb doesn't bend like this one. So, God, I got some explaining to do because why is my thumb like this? The whole opposable thumbs thing kind of don't really work for me because 
it don't bend like this one. And like, it don't even have the lines on the back of it. And I just be looking like, dang, like, God, did you forget to give me a joint? First of all, first you dip half my body in chocolate and then you forget to give me a, how you do that? How do you do that? I'm so upset. Not really, I'm not really upset. It's pretty interesting because when I start flexing it in front of people, people just look at me like, wait a minute. And the first question is, did you break your thumb when you were little? No, it's just, it was never there. Mm -hmm. I am a sibling of five. Well, now it's seven because my dad um, ended up remarrying. So now I have a little sister and I have another older brother. So now that makes four brothers and two sisters. But originally, before he remarried, I was the youngest of five. I would think with me having a sister, you know, be a little bit more for on the, the girly side, my little feminine side. No, my sister acts just like my brothers. Only thing is, we're just female. And my dad loves to get on my case about that all the time. You act too much like a man. Well, I have three brothers and one sister who does not like anything girly. Unless it's makeup, but that's only for a special occasion and I'm the exact same way. But I'm trying to tap more into my girly side. More, more, more because I'm not gonna lie, I do be look good with my little makeup and stuff, my little lashes, as you can see, my nails. And I never used to get my nails done as often as I do now. I'm trying to like get more in touch with my little feminine side since I was told I act too much like a guy. Not my words, my dad, okay. I'm a very expressive person. Whether it be how I talk, or by my facial expression. You guys can always tell how I feel about something with my facial expression. It's only straight now, cause I'm on video. <laughs> Other than that, y'all will see me doing some extra creepy, funky stuff with my face if something seems off or if it seems weird. I do make YouTube intros. So if you guys are looking to get yourself a YouTube intro, I made myself, just hit me up. Of course, I ain't gonna charge you no arm and a leg. It's only 25 bucks. I want one of them a quality YouTube video, okay? And, and it only takes me about two days to make. Or if not, if I finish it, with probably within the same days. It's not as hard as I thought it would be, but it is very much time consuming. So if you guys wanna hit me up for a YouTube intro, you know where to find me. But that, that, that also goes in turn to why I say I'm tech savvy. Cause y'all, I love phones. I love laptops, I love iPads, more or less Apple products I'm really good with. What's funny is I grew up on Androids. <laughs> so for me to become as fluent kind of with Apple products and stuff like that, it's kind of like, I think that's, um, I mean, I guess that's about it. If you guys have any more questions, you can always comment down below. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos getting popped out every week or so. Depending on how much time I have on my hands to be able to edit all this stuff. Because like I said, I have two daughters and one of them is in the month stage. So her homegirl be loving to cuss me out when she wants her attention. I love for y'all, but the kiddos come first. That's about it for my intro video. And until next time, peace out that I did forget to put in the video was what you guys should be expecting from this channel. Challenges, get ready with me's, mommy and me videos, all types of good stuff. I'm going to try to bring as much diversity to my channel as possible and make it a lot more fun for everybody, where, whether it be adults and whether it be kids. I want to be able to reach out to everyone. So be expecting this from my channel in the next coming months. All right. Hey. Living in them jeans, girl, that thing thing. She riding on the beat like a bike. She gonna let me.